So this wipe, I got my Shooterborn kills done in reserve way faster than normal. I know Shooterborn doesn't require the distance anymore for the headshots, but if you're still interested in keeping some space between you and your target, then I'm going to show you some of my favorite spots and tactics for getting your Shooterborn done in reserve quick and easy. First I'm going to let you know about some tips, and then we're going to move on to the spots. Tip number one is use the maps on the Tarkov wiki. Reserve is known for having PMC spots that are extremely close to each other, so it will benefit you a lot to come and have a look at these maps so you can understand where the PMC spawned in relation to where you spawned, so you know which way to look. My suggestion? is hit where it says interactive map and then hit hide all and then click PMC spawn and now you have a map that you can move around zoom in if you want and also see all the potential PMC spawns on the map tip number two is going to be pay attention to what type of glasses you have on have a look at this graphic and make sure you're not using any of the glasses listed on the left side check out this side-by-side -side comparison of what it's like to look at a PMC that's wearing glowing glasses versus one that isn't this is something that could give your position away at any distance, so I highly advise to stay far away from the glowing glasses. I try to find the original creator for this graph, and I believe it's Zamorakian E on Reddit. Tip number three is don't stay in the raid longer than 15 to 20 minutes. Most of all PMCs immediately run for a building as soon as they spawn because it's so dangerous to be outdoors on reserve. Because of this, your highest potential of getting a long distance headshot is going to be within the first two minutes of the raid. After that, your best bet is to watch certain choke points and quest areas for PMCs, also, the threat of player scavs is much higher the longer the raid goes on. Last tip is use scavs to your advantage. If you are watching a place that you think PMCs may pass through, it's a good idea to try to leave some scavs alive in the area. The scavs can target the PMCs, which will alert you if someone's close, or may provide a distraction as the PMC tries to kill the scavs, leaving them vulnerable for you to get a clean headshot. That's going to be all for the tips, now let's move on to the spots. I only recommend this spot if you happen to get the spawn behind Black Pond right here. As soon as you deploy, what you're going to do is run straight to the roof of Black Pawn, and you're going to look towards these two PMC spawns right here, and you're going to wait. Now I only suggest going up here for around 2 minutes. After that, people are going to know where you are, and there's not going to be much more opportunities around this area, and also you need to watch for the possible PMCs that are behind you coming down from Dome. Now the clip you're watching right now is the reason that I wanted to make this video. I did this strategy and I got 3 kills insanely fast, check it out. Spot number two is going to be the fourth floor of White Pawn, and you're going to want to look towards the sewer manhole extract. It's somewhat common for people to run through the sewer manhole area because it's one of the safer places to pass through and get around on reserve. And there's also a few quests that need to be done in this area, so you might catch a few PMCs trying to do that. This spot is great because nobody ever expects somebody to be looking under this window. It's also common for people to stop and use this small red shack to regain their stamina before they push through the barbed wire fence which will result in a very easy shot for you on a stationary target. Believe it or not, but there is a PMC in this window looking at me. It might be hard to see, but he's there. That's another great perk about this spot, is that there's almost little to no risk being in there because it's so dark in that room. Now spot number 3 is actually a new one for me. It's going to be on the very top part of Black Knight. Ever since vaulting was added to the game, this spot's been a lot easier to get to. Before vaulting, you'd have to jump and hope that you don't fall off the side of the building and break your legs, putting you in a really bad spot and probably going to miss a lot of opportunities of any PMCs running by. Now if there's no snow in the game when you decide to come up here, the option for sight lines is going to be much more limited. When it snows in Tarkov, most of the trees lose all of their foliage, which has its downs and upsides. I would say this spot is more preferred with the snow, just because nobody ever looks up here anyway, and the sight lines you get when the foliage is on the trees just aren't very good. And also you get this nice little tent that makes your PMC a little darker and harder to see.
spot number four i only recommend if you get this spawn at dome and you're gonna run as fast as you can to these rocks Similar to the first spot, I only recommend staying here for around one minute. This spot is checked by PMCs all the time, but as long as you don't overstay your welcome, you have a very high chance of seeing a PMC in the first minute. If you do see a PMC, make sure you leave after your first couple shots. There is a large portion of the map that can see you here, and after the first minute, you could get shot from anywhere. Once you get over here, sit on this rock that I'm sitting on, and have a look for the three PMC spawns that are located here. One last tip about this spot, if you took a shot at a PMC and he ran into the RBST building, don't even bother trying to kill him. It is so dark in there that 9 times out of 10, he's going to kill you before you even know he's looking at you. So just pack your bags and head on somewhere else. Spot number 5 is going to be our last one, and it's a bit different from the rest of them because it's not necessarily one spot. Now, Dome is a place that I've never recommended to anybody go, because look, look at all the places that you can get shot from. The entire map can see you up here. So spot number 5 is Counter Sniping Dome. Now I'm going to play a few clips to show you some nice spots to get a good angle on Dome, but this can be done from anywhere. If you're interested in where I got this music, it was made by Low Wave Records in collaboration with Airwing Marine. They make copyright free music for content creators to use without the worry of DMCA takedowns. If you're interested, links in the description of a Spotify playlist and a SoundCloud playlist where you can download the songs from. Make sure you come by my Twitch stream to say hi and good luck getting those headshots.